Hey friends, welcome back to our channel. Today we're gonna brew bai mu dan together. In this video, I'm using our bai mu dan cake. So if you are brewing a loose leaf bai mu dan, the timing might be slightly different. To start off, we're going to rinse all the vessels. This is not only a cleaning step, but also warm up all the vessels, especially the guy one. After you put the tea leaves in the warmed up gaiwan, this is the best time to enjoy the dry leaf aroma. So be sure to give that leaves a good sniff. Rinse is a special step in Kung Fu tea brewing. It helps loose up the tea leaves and get them ready for the first infusion. We've done a video to explain this rinse brew in details. Why should we do that? When to do the rinse brew and how exactly to rinse? So if you're interested in that, be sure to check the video out. Here before the first infusion, I let the tea leaves set for about 30 seconds because I'm brewing a tea cake, but this tea cake is not so densely pressed. So let it just sit in this moist and warmed guy one is sufficient. So be sure to adjust if you are brewing loose leaf, you might not need this.
Bai Mu Dan is the name for this tea. Just like all other Chinese teas, it doesn't guarantee that all the Bai Mu Dan are identical. What I mean is, you know, half inch screw you get from Home Depot or you get from Lois is pretty much the same. But the Bai Mu Dan you get can be quite different from store to store. So what I'm brewing here might not be the same tea as you're brewing, even though they are all named Bai Mu Dan. So be sure to adjust the parameters according to your tea.